Big League Chew? Oh, yeah, dude. Man, what do you think about Big League Chew? That stuff's not on, dude. He's definitely slapping right now. So Blaine, two questions. We get red in this too. Number one, do you think I can fit in the back seat? Well, we're just gonna have to find out. And if not, oh, there's no doubt you can fit in there. And a can I go back, back out? You back out. Yeah. Well, we is may, there? We may have a convertible notchback Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> you just treat me like a dog and tell me there's cold beer. I'll come shooting out of there, you know. <laughs> and number two, you think you can handle pumpkin spice? Oh yeah, no big deal, dude. Pumpkin Spice is a pristine unit. Nice. Well, I think it's time for you to, you know, you got your learner's permit now, so it's probably time to drive. That's not a bad idea. So, uh, Blaine's dad, I said, he's got his learner's permit. Can he drive the Mustang in case me and Red get tired? And he's like, oh yeah, I just has to have an adult in the car. Wait a minute. So, I Wait, said, so, adult, so I said, I said, we'll see if we can find one, but no promises. He said, over 21. Okay. Well, hey, you better go make sure you can see over a steering wheel. All right. I mean, it's set up for a uh, six foot two individual. Do you want a second cushion? We got this other cushion. We could just double stack those units. Oh, you need something? We put a backpack back there. Yeah. Get a soft backpack. How's that? Feeling pretty comfortable? Yeah. All right. You got to get them seat belts adjusted. Safety first. Hands on the wheel. Ten and two. It's a streetcar. It's got a Lannis permit. <laughs> yeah. It's got a Lannis permit. You can drive a streetcar. It makes it a streetcar. Yeah. He's driven stick shifts before. This is easy. Just a power glide. Dude, this is no big deal. No big deal, huh? Here, put this like behind your waist. Maybe we put that under. I think this is mine right here. You sure? Yeah, I think that's You want to sit on it? Yeah, put that under there. Once you get situated, I'll see if I can climb my big ass in the back seat. <laughs> now that, that's <laughs> part of the video. Yep. Yep. Oh, dude. Can oh, you reach the oh, pedals? Dude. Oh, dude. Oh, it's like you were made for it, huh? Oh, dude, no big deal. You can come out of school, leave your backpack on, drive a car home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you getting... Oh. <laughs> Doug's trying to get in the back. We're going to see if you do. Backseat right Googles. On. Oh, dude. Dude, it's like I was made... I've done it before. <laughs> we're golden. We're golden, he said. That's what I said. You're going to get in there, kind of like carrying in the Corvette. You can get in. It's getting you oh, out. That's easy. Out. Hey, Brother, are you getting out? Oh man, I'm gonna try it. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know that I'm gonna get out, but I'm gonna try. So I went. We might have. I gotta to. reverse my steps. So when I came in, I think I went over the bar, right? Uh -huh. so that means I gotta get over the bar again. Yeah. What? You might have to bar some stuff out. I don't know. <laughs> Whenever you need assistance, there, Lieutenant Dan, you just holler. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. Yeah, you got no legs. Oh, dude, he's out. Out. No big deal. Dude. Look at that. So much easier. Uh, it's like you were made for the back of a fox yeah. body Mustang. I'm not saying it won't be the last time we do it, but I might think twice. That was a little painful. <laughs> Y'all got everything y'all need? I'm going to watch the door. stuff where are we what do we got going <laughs> uh we are in gainesville florida today is day four 
I've officially lost my voice. Um, Blaine got us here in one piece. Great driver. And we are, uh, what can I say, dude? Just trying my best. Just doing what he can. I was able to get out of the back seat of the Fox body, which I know a lot of people were concerned with, and we did not have to take the rear window out, so that was a big plus. Um, pumpkin Spice is just, you know, holding up some middle of the pack and rowdy radial, but we're having a great time. Yeah. Uh, Scrambled eggs. <laughs> Cinnamon toast crunch. Out. Well, I think we're gonna try and do one and done. I think we said that every day, but we uh, are giving ourselves a chance on it today. Put a little extra fuel for a little extra ballast. We may get hooked and go down the track. Threw a tune up in it that we know. We're just gonna stop being fancy. We want to see the beach. I think we're gonna try and drive pumpkin spice out for a photo shoot on the beach. So. Yeah, that's our goal. Funky dude. You think you got it on a one and done? Oh, we're gonna get it done, dude. You think it's gonna be a one and done though, one pass, Colin? Yeah. Alright. We wanna to go to the beach, dude, and we want it to be right out, so. Other foot. Sam says that's guaranteed to make your feet not stick. 
like it did last night so probably a 30 to a 35 just a nice a to b one and done and go put our toes in the sand right yes sir dude good go. job good job driver i said it, it left it just drove away what we mean by driving away is we're leaving the line soft so we're really not even planting the chassis so the car literally drives away and at about 40 foot, it just picks the front tires up and just carries them for about 20 or 30 foot. So, about when we get that converter just up. trying to get out of that danger spin zone. The track was green, meaning it wasn't bad, but it was far from good and far from sticky. So you could tell even some of the faster cars were erring on the side of caution and struggling. So, but yeah, 21, dude. I'm I'm happy with that. It picked up a mile an hour too. Yep. Kind of like Andy said, if we we're gonna do that, today was the right day to do it. So we yep. go to the beach, yep. have some seafood, yep. maybe yep. a cocktail or two. Let's go. Hell yeah. We went 521 at 138.5. Uh, not the personal best for the car, but pretty solid given the boost level we're on. You know, at this point we can't win, so we're just trying to make a respectable showing. We know the converter is not right. <clears throat> So I look forward to that, but hey, not, nothing to be mad about. It's nice and sunny out. We made a pretty solid pass second with it. Pass, that's the second pass, pass of the week for us. Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, we lucked into a 20. We had no idea what to put for a tune-up, and it went a 20, and then we just kind of lost our way from there. So to get right back to a 21 within two passes is, I mean, I feel like that's a win. Right? Like a, we know how to go like a team or something tomorrow, which is, I mean, ultimately, we're out here racing ourselves, learning about the car, trying to go faster, get this thing set up so that, you know, we can kind of put it in the background, and if we want to pull it out for a future, you know, drag and drive, it's ready to go. Other than the sound system, we got to get that installed, but other than that, we should be, have a good backup car in this thing, and I'm going to probably race a lot throughout, you know, throughout the time. All right, so you put a sound system in, the first song you play is? Bourbons and Lacks. Bourbons and Lacks by Master P. <laughs> Bourbons and wax. Uh, we're really trying to get that 490 pass in the 8th today. So we looked at the data yesterday and uh, found a couple things that we... Wait, the what? The, the data. Okay. And uh, yeah, we found a couple things that we, uh, you know, changed trying to go a little faster, but uh, kind of went backwards. So we're able to go revert to our original kind of tune-up and um, just add a little more boost to it and I think we're gonna do it. I mean, day one we went 99, day two we went 89, day three we went 79. I uh, found some stuff I could improve on in the 79 tune-up, so we'll see what happens. We were real hunting for that 490, and uh, yeah, we did it. 498 to the eighth. Let's see it. 
776 at 173. We're happy with that, but well, we'll stand there. Tomorrow, we'll tomorrow's the last day of the week, coming. so uh, we definitely we plan on giving her the beans. If you could say like a realistic goal when you give her the juice, what are you thinking? Well, the cage is only good to 750, so if we could get a, if we could not turn in a time slip, if you know what I'm saying, then I'd be happy. 60 was still slow. 98. Perfect. 498? 498. Yes. Dude, just knocking out goals. Nice work, dude. Dude, this track is nice. It's a great track. It's a really nice track. Yeah, when they prep it, it's world class. Yeah. Well, might not have been a pump. Luckily, Blaine had about 13 water bottles. We could have gone at 19 if you didn't have all those water bottles stashed in the car, dude. We think when we originally filled it, or at least now, I'm speculating, but I told Chin it's not possible. But then it happened uh, that it wasn't low on water, but if it's low on water, it might just cut an air pocket in it, so. We'll just hope that's what it is. Hopefully it's good. Nobody's trying. <laughs> what was that? Hopefully it's good, nobody knows. <laughs> I don't know if you should put that in a video or not. I guess it's not wrong. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs>